morning, everybody. I thought I would show you a day in the morning of getting the chickens fed and their um, hen house perked up a little bit, how I deal with the eggs, and yeah, let's get started. Now I can go do the chicken. So one of the first things I have to do, put on these ugly shoes. Are you ready to go out again? Obviously we need to put more food in that. So we have corn in here, which is like basically candy for these chickens. Chick, 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 chick. Then there are layer feed in here. This is organic layer feed and it has the balanced nutrition that hens need <laughs> to to support um, them laying eggs producing shells all the protein inside every day because it takes a lot of work you can see the chickens really like the corn I mean, I love candy corn too. Halloween is coming up, but this is their candy corn. Going to say goodbye to my husband. This is what happens when you're in the who's cow. Prison kiss. <laughs> Through the fence kiss. Now we need to check for eggs. This holds the uh, cover up for the egg box. And I can see there's an egg there. And there's two eggs there. The inner sanctum of Cluckingham Palace. Hi. Hi. This door goes up and down on a timer. And so I have it set in the morning. Um, it opens and at night it goes down. And so they walk up those steps. Into the coop and um, perch here put themselves to bed. So I walk to the back of the house where I have a hose set up to deal with uh, chickeny stuff. So I untwist this, wash this out a bit, fill it up. Fresh cold 
after cleaning out some of the poop in there, we're going to add some fresh shavings. It comes out in kind of big chunks and I just kind of throw it in here. So I have to collect these. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this. I have three eggs and I guess I'm gonna carry them in my shirt. All done. Back into the house to show you what goes on with these eggs now. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about these eggs as well. Now, I've had people ask me on multiple occasions um, if your birds wanted to sit on those eggs, could you have more little chickens, peeps? And the answer to that is no way. <laughs> Why? Because I don't have a rooster. A rooster is needed to um, fertilize the eggs. And as long as there isn't a rooster, these eggs are not fertilized. So what I do is I have, I've kind of mentioned this before in another video, I have this egg holder, which allows me to know which eggs are fresher and which eggs aren't. Put the newer eggs on top and the older eggs are down here at the bottom. So when you want an egg, you just choose one from the bottom and the rest slide down. Nice. So what do I do with all these eggs? Because generally there's only the two of us. Oh, I can see my pile of clothes from our trip to Montauk in the background right there. Uh, I have to get to that later today. What a mess. Full disclosure. Tony too. Okay. Um, so I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah. There's only two of us basically living here. And one egg a day, five hens, so four, four times math. Four, four times seven, 28, 12, 24. So over two dozen eggs a week. That is too much for us. So I still can't really give enough of them away to keep up with the amount that I'm getting. So um, what I decided to do was to sell them which is kind of funny it's a backward business acumen normally the business model suggests that if you can't sell something maybe you should lower the price or start giving them away even I can't give them away so let me show you my setup and I bought this old bread box I cut a slot in this toolbox, so you can see here, there's a lock. I put my stickers on it. I use duct tape. I love duct tape. Sharpie markers because they really last. I put a secure cable through this. So if somebody wants to walk off with all $2 I might make in a day, it makes it a little harder to do that. We set this up right about here, and I sell probably about a six pack every few days. But you know what? For anyone thinking of doing backyard chickening, I highly recommend it. Backyard chickening. See you next time. Bye.